Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, wow. It is Christmas Eve. It doesn't seem like Christmas as much this year as every other year. I was just talking to my husband. I haven't dressed up or gone to any parties or something. But you know what? Christmas is here and it's wonderful. And as my title says, joy to the world. No matter what is going on, there is always joy and there's always joy. A way to bring joy into your consciousness and to who you are. This um, candlelight service and expansion of my talk last Sunday entitled The True Joy of Christmas. And I, I got a, quite a few comments on this one. People who really need to find that joy because this Christmas is so different from many, many others for all of us. So as we open today, think about the true joy of Christmas. So as we always say at Unity, we come here together where love is felt, truth is taught, lives are transformed, and miracles happen. Yay! Joy to the world. So to start off this service, I'm going to read a poem that I found about the year 2020. It was on Facebook. I think a minister posted, and I think it's, it's great, and it's a reminder that this season is not just about presents and the material stuff and all of that other thing. It's about joy in your heart and all the hope and faith that we've been talking about in this Advent season and the peace that path is all understanding. So let's listen to this poem. It's called The Year 2020. And just around the corner, the holiday season, but why be merry? Is there even one reason to decorate the house and put up a tree when no one will see it, no one but me? But outside my window, the snow gently falls. And I think to myself, let's deck the halls. So I gather the ribbon, the garland, and the bows as I play those old carols. My happiness grows. Christmas is not canceled, and neither is hope. If we lean on each other, I know we can cope. Isn't that true? Lean on each other. We don't have to physically lean. Um, I was talking to my girlfriend in England. Um, she can't, of course, they can't go anywhere. And she usually spends it with her brother and his two kids. And they did a big Zoom two-hour thing. And she decorated herself with tissue paper to be a snowman and all those when we lean on each other, no matter how we do it, and now it's virtually and through um, computers and all of those things, there is still hope. There is still joy. There is still love. There is still peace. There is always faith. This too shall pass. So remember, this Christmas season, this Christmas day and this Christmas Eve is not just about this day. It's a season that goes throughout the year. So spread joy from your consciousness out into the world. So let's pray. And I'm going to use parts of the song of joy to the world in my prayer because I like to try different things all the time. So let's take a deep breath in. And as we breathe in and out, we remember the joy of the past Christmases this present Christmas and all future Christmases. Allow the presence of God to settle into the silence of your mind as we pray and allow peace to flow throughout your entire being to bring forth the joy and we say thank you God. We are here this moment in the present moment connected to the Spirit into the stillness of our minds, we say, thank you, God. We are thankful to be alive, to be alert, to be aware today of this Christmas morn that is upon us. Alive and alert and aware that we are children of God, blessed and anointed in his spirit. And we know that with God all things are possible. For there is joy, there is hope, there is peace and there is faith. So we send healing prayers and light out to all those in need. Doctors, nurses, caregivers, friend, friends, families, co-workers, and just joy and love and faith and hope to all people in our world. For the healing light of God surrounds each and every one of us. It may not feel like it, but it's so true. Just open our hearts here in prayer and believe and believe in the presence of God for joy to the world. The Lord and the presence of God is here right now. 
Let your hearts receive his peace, his joy, his understanding. Let your hearts prepare a room to receive God's grace and let your heaven and nature sing with joy and love. Joy, joy, joy. The Christ reigns for each and every one of us as we lift up our hearts filled with light and we let our hearts and all men sing with the joy of God over the fields and the floods and the rocks and the hills and the plains and the cities and the skies and the earth everywhere let us sing the songs of joy joy to the world let us continue to believe in joy and receive our King as the angels sing all around us as we listen in the stillness of our soul. The angels are singing for there is joy in this world. Joy to the world. Let the truth of God and the being and consciousness of God be in you right now with grace, with love, with peace, and most of all, with joy. Mm. So we say thank you, God. Amen. I hope you're filled with some joy. That's what I'm trying to spread here. So we're going to... I'm going to share a song by Karen Drucker. It's called Joy in Our Hearts. It's a beautiful song. So listen to these words as it plays right now. Peace. Let's celebrate peace. Let's celebrate love. Let's celebrate love. Let's celebrate love. 
Let's celebrate light that shines. Shine, shine, shine. Let's celebrate faith. Let's celebrate hope. Let's celebrate joy. Joy in our hearts. Now reach for our season. Love every moment. Light shines wherever we are. Faith in the darkness. Hope in the silence. Joy, joy in our hearts. Love, peace for our season. Love every moment. Light shines. Well, I hope you like that song. Do you have joy in your hearts? Because this is how we're going into this candlelight service. Of course, it's very different from what we usually do at our Unity Center. Um, we usually have someone coming up each time and lighting a candle using the 12 powers. We're going to light 12 candles today, but they're, we're going to let our imagination flow as I do a reading for each candle that we light. I have my candle lit and I think of that as the Christ candle. We always put the big white one in the center and let our light shine during this candlelight service. It's different from the others we're doing, but that's like the whole world right now. It is different, but we want to share and I want to share with you a candlelight service that I hope touches your heart and reminds you of what the true joy and the meaning of this Christmas is all about in 2020. The one that's different from all others, but just as special. So if you have your candle with you, I want you to light it. And every time I say light a candle, light it again or act like you're lighting it. I let your imagination flow. Let it be any way that you choose it to be. But we are lighting candles to light up the world today because it is joy to the world. So the first candle we light, we're taking from the reading of Ephesians 3, 16, 17. I pray that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, as you are being rooted and grounded in love. Think about those words as you celebrate your Christ consciousness. Each time you turn within, turn within to that Christ within you and open your heart up to the awareness of your unlimited wisdom, life, love, and joy. That Christ consciousness works out all details in your everyday life, not just in this Christmas season, but all the time. All the time. Remember, it's not just this day. Tomorrow, it's all the time we have that Christ consciousness or Christmas consciousness, if you want to think about it. And learn to live from the perfection that is always within you, showing it you that you are wise and peaceful. So take a moment. That's your first candle. Hmm. As we light our second candle, we breathe and we light this candle to acknowledge the light of imagination, which I talked about before. Let your imagination soar to this candlelight and service. For this light we use to create and give shape to the sacred within us 
and to form the Christ presence into our world where it's truly needed, filled with compassion, love, courage, peace, and joy. Breathe. I usually play music behind, but I would have to switch a lot of things. But I want you to just stay in this moment as we light candle number three. And this is taken from Luke 2, 7. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in the bands of cloths and laid him in a manger. Consider the sacred day of the birth of Jesus, where Mary and Joseph were in a barn or stable and many of you are saying I don't have presents to give or I don't have um, a lot of things under my tree or not even a tree this year remember this day came about with our Christ child that gave us a new beginning a new birth in a barn with no presents around with no decorations and all those things we made it simple, and that's what we're doing this Christmas, making it simple and accommodating the trueness of Christmas, the sacredness of this day, as we allow new ideas to formulate in our minds, as we imagine the wonderful Christmas morn that we each have, and we discover new blessings each time we open our hearts until opportunities arise within us. So in this stillness of this moment, as we light this candle, allow the Christ to be born anew in your consciousness right now. Breathe. <sighs> candle number four. We light this candle to acknowledge your light of releasing, of letting go, of surrendering to spirit. Letting go thoughts of what Christmas was last year and acknowledge the fullness and the joy of Christmas in all its simplicity today. When we release the old thoughts, feelings and experience, we rise ourselves up and receive our highest good. So breathe in the light of releasing and letting go. Candle number five. This is taken from Luke 2, 15 to 16. It says, The shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. Ah, enter into the joy of holiday giving and receiving, and not just, as I said, material gifts, but participating from your hearts in this season of giving. Give joy from your smile. Give love and gifts of who you are, even if it's virtual and through a computer and the internet. This is a season of giving from the heart of love. Just as the shepherds rushed off to see Mary and Joseph laying in the manger, they gave from their hearts and their presence. So gratefully receive and appreciate kind words and acts of others and be willing to be helpful and to serve not just this season, but always. That's the joy to the world this Christmas. As we lead into halfway there on candle number six, so take a moment and look at your candle and see the glow of the light that is lighting up even more so in your hearts right now. <sighs> and light this candle for the world to acknowledge your light of love. This season is about love. The light reminds us about the Christmas story that talks about Jesus' birth and how it's about loving selflessly so that any person who loves just like you has a way of giving love to the world that is filled with joy. And you can do it just by sharing your love. So light a candle for love that lasts 
not just this moment, but always. Take another breath in. <sighs> Candle seven. Taking from Matthew two ten, when they saw that star had, st when they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. Guess who those were? The wise man. We each have that inner shining light within us, our individual Christmas star. Whereas you lit that candle, think about that star that's lightening up in your heart. It's not just the Christmas star that you put on top of the tree. It's the star within you that lights you each day and gets you going forward each day. It shines always and forever. But be especially aware of it in this season of light. With the Christmas lights all around that bring joy. I know I like lights. Let this light be a leading star for you. So that you can stop and breathe. And let your soul be illumined and guided. So that you will be shown the answer to every need in your life. Breathe. Hmm. Candle number eight. We light this candle to acknowledge zeal and passion. This candle is to light up your inner soul with fire, to spring forth all that is yours to spring forth in your life, to manifest your trueness here on earth, right now, this Christmas season and always. Joy of the world and joy to the world allows us to open more to that passion and that zeal that is ours all the time. So acknowledge that passion, even in the midst of our world that seems to be, which is filled with a lot of sadness and suffering. Reach deep and light that candle to illuminate your zeal and passion for life. Hmm. As we light the ninth candle, it's taken from Luke 2.20. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Imagine seeing the baby, the Christ, all the stories they had heard leading up to this. And they return filled with passion and zeal and joy, glorifying and praising God. This story, this Christ story that we read every Christmas and seems to be the only time we read it is a time for us to be reborn. The story of Jesus' birth resonates in each and every one of us. It is the birth of our own soul, spiritual awareness that we can do every day and every moment. Your own soul, spiritual awareness open to it. It is the unfolding of your life's journey. As we say, as we know, Joseph was skeptical about the birth, but he gradually grew to understand the ways of the Spirit. And Mary, she represents that trusting and open nature to carry the blessings of Christ to others. She gave birth. And then the manger is that humble heart each of us can humble ourselves to open to receive and prepare our way for the awaited Christ child which is here for us right now. And the infant Jesus that laid in that manger in a barn, remember, is our Christ consciousness born within us, our blessed awareness. So think about this. This is the true meaning of Christmas. This is the truth of what the joy of Christmas is about. So breathe in as we light candle number 10. Because we light this candle to acknowledge the light of faith. Because Mary, Joseph, and all those, the shepherds and the wise men, had faith that the Christ child will be born. They have faith and praise God that all was going to take place. And with faith, we will get through this pandemic into a greater awareness, a more wonderful and joyful new normal. 
So light your candle of faith and remember to forgive more fully and love more deeply this season and always. For it calls for each of us to be greater than we had ever imagined. That's why I said begin with imagination. <sighs> so breathe in as we light candle number 11. And it's from Luke 2, 11. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. To you is born this day the Christ presence within you right now. It's within your heart. Let your plans for this future, not just this Christmas, but all Christmas, be filled with joy every moment, no matter what's going on around you. Slow down and acknowledge all the blessings and the reasons for this season. Let your thoughts be on the arrival and the awareness of the Christ presence within you and let them be renewed in goodness, in love, in faith, and with joy. Experience the Christ presence within you right now. See this world filled with joy, perfect and divine. So as we light this last candle number 12, I want you to light it for yourself, for your family, for remembrance of all the blessings that are yours that you received this year, even when everything was going on. Bless your families who have passed and those who are still here. Bless friends and all those you know as we spread joy to the world. So we've lit our 12 candles. Let's close our eyes for a moment as we lead into our meditation. Ah, thinking of all the things we've talked about as we've lit these candles in our souls. Lit these candles in our consciousness. Lit these candles to remember that Christ was born within us today to believe, to have faith, to be aware, to be transformed, and to spread joy to the world always. So take a deep breath in and out as I read the daily word for today, this Christmas Eve. As we affirm, I welcome the holy birth within me. This Christmas Eve, we think of Mary and Joseph and how their journey of faith led them to the humble birth of Jesus in a stable. Breathing in and out. With love in our hearts and peacefulness all around us. We remember that they brought the holy child into the world and laid him into a manger, and their joy was complete just as ours. Breathe. Let us carry this story with us as a reminder when we go about our lives and our plans go awry. We can each demonstrate the faith of God to follow an unfamiliar route, the peace to trust the divine within ourselves and the love to know that we are never alone. Breathe. With joy 
we welcome the birth of the Christ, commemorated in the birth of Jesus more than 2,000 years ago. This divine light shines steady and bright. And the Christmas story reminds us that the divine is forever being born. Not this day, but every day, every breath, and every moment. Breathe in and out. Let's take a moment and see our light shine with the candles that are glowing. As it says in Luke 2, 14, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Ah. <sighs> So let's open your eyes. Joy to the world. I hope you enjoy this candlelight and service. A new beginning, a new birth has been born within you today. As our closing affirmation says, my world is a world of joy and nothing but joy can express in and through me. Can we say that together? My world is a world of joy and nothing but joy can it be expressed in and through me. Remember this, even with what is happening in our world today, it is still a world of joy, joy to the world. And so I'm going to close with a poem written by Howard Thruman in 1961. It's called Candles for Christmas. I will light candles this Christmas. Candles of joy despite all sadness. Candles of hope where despair keeps watch. Candles of courage for fears ever present. Candles of peace for tempest tossed days. Candles of grace to ease heavy burdens. Candles of love to inspire all my living. Candles that will burn all year round. So light your candle for this world, today and always. So namaste, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, all the ones I don't know all the terminology. Have a blessed and joyous Christmas as you spread joy to the world in the midst of everything because God is everywhere present blessing each of us so let your light shine we usually close with the song um let your light shine i don't have the music for it that i can play but remember to let your light shine and spread your joy virtually and in every way that you can so let's give a big virtual hug as we say merry christmas blessings to each and every one of you it was a joy being here with you let your light and your candle burn for a while longer, if you can. And as you go to bed tonight, you can blow out that candle and spread joy, spread joy and love to all people in this world as you awaken to a new birth and a new beginning tomorrow morning at Christmas. Blessings, love always, amen.